Good God almighty, I've just heard there's going to be CCTV cameras set up on every single road in the UK, armed with facial recognition technology that's going to make sure freedom is a thing of the past. Or is that likely to be false? <laughs> Guys, come on, seriously. Why, why do people just believe anything these days? It's like, I saw a unicorn. No, no, you didn't. Oh, I did. No, you definitely didn't. Ladies, gents and Pikachus, welcome back to another short episode on why people are fucking zombies. They'll literally believe anything they see on YouTube, as long as it's a nice face, a nice presentable person that's telling them. Like, I've seen so much ridiculous bullcrap in the news and on YouTube recently, and people are like, Ooh, panic, panic. Don't you see that's exactly what they want out of you? They don't have to tell the truth, they just have to say something which is going to rile you up. So you go, yeah, bring down the government, anarchy, or something like that, and then they've done their job. It doesn't matter whether the thing was true or not. So like in America, they were like, oh yeah, we're talking about bringing back cougars for the sake of natural regeneration. And everyone was like, Rah, don't vote for that guy, he wants us to have cougars on our streets. Of course they're not going to fucking bring back cougars. Do you know how much money it took and how much time it took to eliminate cougars off the streets? And what's the benefit of having a fucking cougar on your road? Can you imagine walking out of your house with your kids to walk them to school every day and having to go, oh, I hope there's no cougars? <laughs> of course they're not going to fucking do that. It's like I just saw on Jeff's channel um, this thing about we're going to have CCTV cameras everywhere with facial recognition. Oh, it's going to be scary. And then the thing you're supposed to say is, oh, but the people in burkas won't be seen. Oh, it's racism. It's fucking not going to happen. Of course it's not. Look what they just had with the ULES cameras. They had like six months of ULES cameras and now they're removing them all. Oh yeah, they're not going to tell you that though, are you? No. You're not going to hear about how the ULES thing completely failed and how the government are taking down the ULES cameras and scrapping that scheme completely because people didn't like it. They rebelled. They were in open rebellion against ULES. And guess what? The fucking ULES scheme is in the trash. So that's what's going to happen with this CCTV thing. Some dickhead CCP agent, um, you know, paid spy effectively, who's in our government, said, you know, we're thinking about CCTV cameras, mm, tell the people that. You know, go away, tell the people that. And then the people got told that, and they went, ah, revolt! But, come on! Use your head! Do you know how much money it would cost to put CCTV cameras on every single road? You'd also have to have high-speed internet on every single road. But they're not going to say, oh, we're going to have high-speed internet on every road. Of course they're not, because it would cost too much money. So put two and two together and make four. <laughs> you know, use your intelligence, use your head, and realise, oh my god, there's not going to be CCTV cameras on every single road, and it doesn't matter what excuse or reason is given, it just will never happen. Well, I don't say never, it probably happened in like a million years' time. But right now, at the moment, with you and I in this country, it will not happen, because it would cost too much money, and it would lose money. There's no way they could make that money back. Whereas if it was like, oh, we're going to put CCTV cameras on every corner and people will pay for it, fine, they'll probably do it. But we, no one has got money for that. Nobody is going to pay large amounts of money to have CCTV cameras on every single road. And like I just said, it, there's loads of people that it won't catch. Facial recognition, by the way, only works if you have a set of data for it to look on and compare to. So if I was going to say, oh, I'm going to have facial recognition cameras on every row, it would only recognise people who had previously been arrested and had a facial scan or a photo given into the police. And by the way, they can't just go on Google and look at everyone's faces in the UK because of data protection. A good law, which is worthy and didn't cost us anything to have. So in conclusion, are we going to have CCTV and facial recognition on every road? Fuck no, of course we're not, and if you're intelligent and you use your head, you will figure this out for yourself. For the fact that it will cost too much money, which they don't have, and nobody's going to be willing to pay for it so they can't borrow, because the, the bank will say, no, we're not paying for that because your business plan fucking sucks, okay? So, in relation to that, why would they be saying this to us now? Hmm? Think about that, you can figure it out for yourself. So, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye now. Just remember people when they say, Oh, we're going to have XYZ ridiculous thing! And you're supposed to go, Rawr, Grab the pitchforks!
it's electioneering. You are, you're more intelligent and you're better than that, all right? Just remember that. Enjoy yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye now.